Today we are going to discuss ANOVA one-way problem. So he has given a problem. So a student wants to, after completing his MBA, he wants to enter into the finance, sales, HR, either of these three fields. So for that one, she has studied these three different streams such that at which age a person in that particular field is getting the executive level rank. Suppose uh, in the finance sector, if you consider a person at the 46 age, he got the executive level rank. The second person got the 48 age and the third person 52 and the fourth person 43 and similarly fifth person 47 and last person he got the at the 51 age he got the executive level rank if we consider the sales field at the age of 38 he got the executive level rank the second person 43 and so on so forth similarly if you consider the hrm profession at the 45 age he got the executive level rank the second person 44 similarly the last person 39 at the age of 39 he got the executive level rank so on the basis of this data how we can say that we, which field is the better at uh, an early age you will get an executive level rank that we have to say what is the conclusion you have to say that uh, which is the best field to choose such that at an early age you will get an executive level rank or finance sales hrm are having the equal growth or not that is also okay so what we have to do is the finance sales hr we have to write these uh, three fields column wise and we have to fill up the data next what you have to do is this is the first step so i am briefly very concisely i am explaining the anova one way problem so the summation of this column gives the 287 that you consider it as T1. The summation of the sales column you treat it as T2 and the summation is 244. Similarly, the summation of the HRM column consider it as T3 and it is 267. Similarly, the number of items in the finance column is 6. You consider it as N1. Similarly, the number of items in the sales is N2. You consider it as 6. Similarly, number of items in the HR you can see down 3 is equal to 6. 6 items are there in HR. Next, what you have to do is you have to find out a capital T. T is nothing but T1 plus T2 plus T3. That is nothing but 798 you are going to get. That means 287 plus 244 plus 267. If you add these three values, you are going to get it as 798. Similarly, capital N, you are going to get it as 18. Okay. Next, we have to find out this very important concept. Correction factor. C dot F stands for correction factor. Is nothing but capital T whole square by capital N. So, 798 whole square by 18. It leaves the value 35378. Therefore, correction factor is 35378. Okay. Remember this value. Next, SSB you have to find out third step. Sum of the squares between the samples. How you find out this means 287 whole square by 6. Here you follow the same notation how I am presenting here. Similarly, 244 whole square by 6. Similarly, 267 whole square by 6. Similarly, 267 whole square by 6 minus correction factor. Minus correction factor. So, if you simplify this value, you are going to get it as 154.3. SSB value is 154.3. You remember this one. SSB is 154.3. Next, we have to find out fourth point. SSW, that is sum of the squares within the samples. That means from the first value, that is 46 whole square, 48 whole square, so on 51 whole square. Plus... 38 whole square so on 43 whole square plus 45 whole square so on 39 whole square minus how much value you have to write means here 
दिस थ्री वैल्यू समेशन वैल्यू थ्री डबल फाइव थ्री टू पॉइंट थ्री दिस वैल्यू यू हैव टू सब्ट्रैक्ट ओके इफ यू डू दैट वन यू आर गोइंग टू गेट इट एज वन फिफ्टी सेवन पॉइंट सेवन दट इज एस एस डब्ल्यू इज वन फिफ्टी सेवन पॉइंट सेवन सो यू हैव टू रिमेंबर द ओनली टू वैल्यूज दट इज एस एस बी एस एस बी इज वन फिफ्टी फोर पॉइंट एस एस बी इज वन फिफ्टी फोर पॉइंट थ्री एस एस डब्ल्यू इज इक्वल टू वन फिफ्टी सेवन पॉइंट सेवन These two values you write in the fifth step: one fifty four point three and one fifty seven point seven. So, for uh, before one fifty four point three, you have to write the how many streams of MBA we are considering three streams. Therefore, three minus one is the degree of freedom. Therefore, two is the degree of freedom. Next one, the before one fifty seven point seven, you have to write the the number of. Uh, Samples considered is fifty eighteen. So this is six. This is six. This is six. Therefore, eighteen minus number of streams three. That is degree of freedom is fifteen for this one. Next one fifty four point three by two. You will get seventy seven point one five. Similarly, one fifty seven point seven. You divide with fifteen. You will get ten point five one. So in these two values, which is the highest value? Seventy seven point one five. You have to test always test by says highest value by lowest value, greatest value by lowest value. You will get seven point three four. So therefore, this value we call it as the calculated F. So then, what about the tabulated value? Tabulated value always we have to find out for the degree of freedom. So here for seventy seven point one five, what is the Degree of freedom two for ten point five one degree of freedom is fifteen. So tabulated F value for two comma fifteen degree of freedom is three point six eight. So if you do that uh, compare this one, calculated F value is greater than tabulated F value. Calculated F value is greater than tabulated F value. Therefore H not is rejected. That means H not means always we consider the past finance and sales and H R M has the Equal growth, not except in finance and sales. H R M has not the having the equal growth. Finance, sales, H R M not have the same growth. Okay. So this is about the ANOVA one way. Here we are using the F test. Greatest value is lowest value. Okay. Thank you.